Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at how you can create this echo effect inside of Adobe After Effects 2021. This will be a quick tutorial so let's not waste any time and jump straight in. Let's start by adding in our text and then making sure that the anchor point is in the center of our layer. We can do this by going to the anchor point selection in the toolbar and then holding command and double clicking. Let's also align our text layer to the center of the composition using the align tools on the right. With the text layer selected, hit P on your keyboard to reveal the position properties and add a keyframe at the start. Jump forward 10 frames and then add another keyframe. Now we can begin to move the text layer. Repeat this process as many times as you need to. To smooth the motion, we're going to select all the keyframes, right click and then go to keyframe assistant and then we're going to add easy ease. To slow down the speed of the animation, hold alt or option and then drag the last keyframe. This will space out each of the keyframes equally. Next, we're going to open the graph editor, right click and make sure you have the speed graph selected. Then with all the keyframes selected, we're going to edit the points like this. Then drag them all up until you're happy with the motion. This looks good to me. To add the echo effect, we're going to convert the text layer into a shape. So right click the layer and then go to create and then create shapes from text. This will create a copy of our text layer and then turn it into a shape. Then in the effects and presets tab we're going to search for echo and apply this to our text shape layer. What we first need to do is turn the number of echoes up. I'm going to start at 20 and then see how this looks. The problem we have now is we can't see the text. So here's a fix for this. In the echo operator change it from add to composite in front. Then go up to the fill and then change this to match the colour of the background. And also add a stroke as well. Let's preview the animation. As you can see, this is a really simple but dynamic effect. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you for watching and have a great day.